So today I'm going to show you a technique that I actually learned in high school. You're going to need a paper to draw on, a picture or something to draw of, and you're going to need a ballpoint pen. A ballpoint pen works better than the gel pens, but if all you have is a gel pen, that's fine too. The idea is that you use something other than a pencil, because a pencil kind of smears and smudges with this technique, and a pen will stay kind of clean. Uh, this is called scribble drawing, and the idea is to loosen up a lot when you're drawing and to kind of understand that your mark making can be expressive and bold and fast, but the drawing can still be realistic and shaded and rendered and three-dimensional and have depth and be awesome. So I'm going to start this drawing by scribbling. That's essentially what the technique is. I'll create a border on my paper that sort of mimics what the, uh, what the photograph is that I'm drawing. And what you're gonna see is I just scribble. That's what you do. It's called scribble drawing and you're gonna scribble and scribble. You can press lightly with the pen or darkly with the pen and what I'm gonna start doing in that scribble is I'm gonna start going over some areas more than others. And the idea is that I'm looking at big basic shapes and I'm scribbling in those areas more than others, but I am still scribbling. So what's gonna start happening is by going over more and pressing harder in some areas, you're gonna end up getting darker values and lighter values and start building this form of this drawing. Occasionally I might manipulate my lines and my scribbles a little bit to mimic what I see, but I'm just going over this, over and over and over, scribbling and scribbling and scribbling, looking carefully. So I am spending more time looking at my uh, picture that I'm going to draw than I am actually looking at my paper. I'm looking for big bold areas to outline and you'll notice I go back and forth until I start seeing my drawing emerge. I start seeing the form, I start seeing the picture. Uh, as I start coming back in here I will scribble lightly and I will start tightening up what I do to start mimicking and going over some of the areas that I see in this picture. And it'll start creating highlights and shadows and values in areas. I'll get slower and tighter as I go. And I'm gonna pause this video in a second and then speed it up so that you can see this process go over its whole, the whole period of time that I'm drawing.